Let's begin by looking at the Revit user interface. In the upper left we have the Quick Access Toolbar. To the center at the top we have the Application Menu. To the right an opportunity to search Help as well as to log into Autodesk A360 which gives us access to various Autodesk Cloud services. Below that on the far left we have the Application Menu or File tab. We have the ribbon. Below the ribbon is the options bar. To the left we have the properties palette and the project browser. These two can be repositioned on the screen so they might not be in this exact layout. But the properties palette at the top has the type selector and then below that are properties either for the current view or selected element. The project browser gives us access to various views, schedules, and sheets within the Revit model. To the right we have the drawing window or canvas area where we create our Revit model and edit it. Below this, and for each view, we have the view control bar. Below this, the entire area across the bottom is called the status bar. To the left, you'll see various prompts related to the current command, telling you what Revit is expecting you to do. And then to the right of that, there's a couple of commands related to the current project, as well as a series of selection toggles and filtering mechanism. So understanding these various terms will be very helpful as you work through the textbook as those terms are used throughout.